into the crucible. But it melts. And I'm not very full of anyway. This is all recycled from an old casting. It's been, uh, the flasks have been in there overnight, and it's gone up to 780 degrees and then stayed there for about four hours and then come down a little bit and that's either vaporized or burnt out anything that was in the flask so all you've got left is the investment this is a bit hot so if you, you can't that be out but if it gets too cold then it just doesn't work Native environment. If we watch closely. Keep it in temperature we want it. And we just wait for the metal to heat up in this one. We'll wait for the metal to get to temperature before we keep the flask in this flask has got to be cool. So what's happening now? It's also in food, so there's no oxidization and it's pure mass of the metal. Because the metal doesn't come into contact with oxygen at all. The metal is just purely inert and it removes the oxygen. So therefore, the, the purity of the metal is a lot higher and the quality of the cast and the quality of the melt is top notch. Full of blood. So what happened when you pulled that lever? Um, that took a bomb out the bottom of the crystal. Using a hole in the bottom of the crystal. And it took a bomb out of the crystal. And it took a bomb out of the crystal. Is that somebody up in there? Just. Textbook perfect. I'll do it. Show that there. So, that to one side to cool down. And the plug on the end is very important because it acts as a heat sink and it retains heat. If, the, uh, if there was no plug, the metal inside would cool down too quickly and it would crack or you would get problems with the metal cooling and setting correctly. So the plug 
acts as a sort of reservoir of temperature so that it stays hot enough to cool down very, very, very gradually. Um, if there wasn't a plug there and there wasn't a mass of very, very hot metal to cool down too quickly, the metal would probably crack or you would get fissures or imperfections or flaws in the cast itself. So it's kind of like a safety feature. And you also know when the metal is ready to quench because it's still very, very orange. When it goes to a very, very dark, dull cherry red, uh, it's a good indication of uh, when to quench, it, quench the flask. Anything hotter than that, and sometimes the molten, the metal is not molten inside, but it hasn't cooled down sufficiently, and it will, uh, it could blow up, or the metal itself could fragment with thermal shock. Got quite a bit of red heat in it, so it's still too hot. I usually leave it for about 10 minutes to cool down sufficiently enough to quench. It's probably just about ready to quench. Alright, this is the quench, this is good fun. When it's plunged into cold water to return to a slurry. Releases all the way from the past month. And uh, that's what we made the tree of yesterday. It's gone. More silver screws.